Once you're in here, step one is to update your profile and just make sure all of the information is correct. Name, title, award club, email address, cell phone number, fax number. All of this information for me is correct because I've already updated it. But for you guys, if any of it needs to be changed, just click the field, edit it where applicable, and hit save. For feature sheets, on the left-hand side, you'll see that you have three options. 8.5 by 11 single-sided feature sheets, 8.5 by 11 double-sided feature sheets, and 11 by 17 fold-out feature sheets. You're going to want to make sure that you pick a feature sheet that best suits your listing. Um, easy way to put that is the fewer great photos that you have to showcase your listing is probably um, an 8.5 by 11 single-sided feature sheet option. If you have 20 plus photos, 11 by 17, and anything in the middle, you can probably make work with a double-sided feature sheet. For the sake of this example, I'm going to pick an 8.5 by 11. There's three different options that you can use. Decide on the one that you like best, click it, and then insert the MLS number of the listing you're making a feature sheet for, and hit Submit. All of the information from your listing is going to pull directly from MLS into the feature sheet. Once you're in here, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that all of the data from your listing uploaded correctly. So quickly double check all of these fields. If there's anything that needs to be changed, we've made it so that everything is completely editable. Just click a field and you have the opportunity to make any changes on this that you want. Same with, same with this text. If you want to make it bigger, if you want to make it smaller, if you want to change the font size, you have the opportunity to do all of that. One thing that we've noticed is that sometimes someone will write a really big description for a feature sheet and it may not fit into this section. That's a really easy fix. All that you're going to want to do is decrease the font size. If you have to decrease the font size too, too much, you might want to consider rewriting it. So I've double checked my personal information on the front and I've double checked the data and all of that looks good. So I'm going to go and look at the back page. So this is the section that you're going to want to double check for data. If there are any changes here, again, you can just click on it and type in anything that you need to. So I'm just going to put in this again, but for the sake of showing you how easy it is. Um, say this was a really, really awesome feature and you wanted to highlight it. Um, you have the opportunity to do that too. So if the garage is, you know, kind of the make or break for somebody and you think it's just awesome, if you wanted to, you could make it red. Um, something to consider is that these were designed by professionally um, trained graphic designers. So we've done our very, very best to make sure they look professional and showcase um, your listing as best as possible. Um, but if you do want to make changes, obviously, that's why this program exists. So again, double check. Anything you want to change, click. If everything looks good, uh, the next step is to add all of your pictures in. Adding pictures is really, really easy. We've made it so that MLS sends a live feed of your photos to this system so that if you don't have high quality photos or you don't want to use them, you don't have to. You will notice that a note comes up right here that suggests that you use your professional um, photographs because they will be higher quality. Um, those professional photographs should be saved somewhere on your own personal computer. To find those, um, you're going to click choose file. You can click Choose File, find the folder on your computer wherever you save your listings photos. Um, so for us, I'm going to go to my desktop, click CIR Print Images, and I'll find photos of a listing right here. So to select a photo for the field, you just double click it and then the photo will pop up. This box right here is the um, little section that you're going to want to fit your photo inside of. So to manipulate it, you just drag the corners and put the best part of your picture inside that box and then hit apply and it'll populate into the field. For the smaller photos especially, um, we have seen no problem using the template images which are the images that are pulled from MLS. Even for the bigger images, they are okay if you want to use them but again, recommendation is to always use your own high quality photos first. So drag and hit apply. As you can see, it's actually really, really quick to add all of these photos in. Um, so making your own feature sheet should not take too long. We've um, been training our receptionists on these and they can make them in about five minutes or less. So hopefully you should be okay too.
So I'm not going to go through the entire thing. Um, you're going to want to go to your back page, of course, and make sure that you add um, your photos as well. One other thing that I forgot to do on the front page is all of your personal information auto-populates. Your image doesn't. Um, if you don't want to have an image on your feature sheet of yourself, you don't have to. You can just remove the image box. If you do want to have one, um, you just find a picture of yourself on your computer. So if that's on your desktop, if that's in your My Pictures file, you just find it. And because I've done this before, the image that I selected for this is already stored. So you only have to find your picture once, and it'll be there every time you come back. So click your photo, drag it, hit apply, and your photo will auto-populate into that box. So once you're done your feature sheet and everything looks good, you're going to go to your print options. You're going to preview your PDF to make sure that your feature sheet looks great. Um, one thing that I want to point out is if you do not add a photo to a certain section, it'll show up as blank. So I didn't add any photos to the back of my feature sheet, so the entire back of it is just going to show up white. So that means if you don't have enough photos to fill the feature sheet, um, that little insert photo here symbol won't be there, which is great because a lot of these feature sheets do work without needing the full amount of photos. So if you're happy with the way everything looks, you can go back to your print page and decide how many you want ordered to you. If you want a PDF only and you want to be able to print it on your own color printer, that's fantastic too. That's $8.50. You click that and as soon as you add it to your card and order it, you can click on My Orders and all of your feature sheets will be saved there. A PDF is included with any of these orders as well. So by ordering 15, 25, 35, 50 feature sheets, those will arrive at the office of your choice. And if you want to use a PDF for a website or to be able to print out later, you can always find that in My Orders. Once you complete an order for a feature sheet, every single order will be stored in the My Template section. So if you need to go back to edit a listing, edit a price, um, you're able to do that. There are, no, um, there are no additional setup fees for changing that kind of information as well. So you can go back and if you're going to reprint it, there's cost. But in our old feature sheet um, setup program in the print shop, because it was manually being done, there was a charge for that. Because you're the one doing it, there is no charge now. So if you're happy with the print costs and you're happy with your PDF, you're going to click all of those buttons, Add to Cart, and then you can decide which office you want to be sent to. So downtown, northeast, northwest, south, you do not have to get your feature sheet sent to the office um, that you work for, and there's no cost for delivery fees, which is great. If you order your feature sheets prior to 2 p.m., they'll be delivered to the office of your choice by 10 a.m. the next day, guaranteed. And if you order them after 2 p.m., it'll be two business days later. So if you order them at 3 p.m. on a Monday, um, they'd be there by 10 a.m. Wednesday. And then all you have to do is click Place Order, and then your feature sheets are finished and you're good to go. If you want to continue shopping and go back to keep making more templates, your order will have been added to your cart, and you can go and start making more feature sheets for your listings.